5 seconds mr speaker there were many views expressed on this bill some honorable members said that there should not be an increase in the bus fares there were also others who said that there should not be an increase in taxation there were others who said that these taxation measures were unnecessary at the same time there were others who said that there should be retrenchment i would like to point out that these are matters which can be raised in the budget discussion but so far as the present bills are concerned i must say that there was difference of opinion among the members i must say that some members of the select committee did not want certain articles to be taxed there were others who said that this taxation would affect the bus owners i may tell you that we have no correct statistics on this matter but at the same time it is not as if we have no statistics at all our economic advisor dealt with the whole question some time ago and he has given us some data on this basis of the information given by him we prepared these amendments so far as the statistics are concerned i may say that it has been agreed that in future there must be a paper wherein the necessary particulars may be entered at the end of the day and it may be sent to the district transport officer so we are trying to see that we get regular statistics from these operators i may inform the house that the present taxation was introduced as a result of abolition of tolls it will be remembered that at that time there was a depression all over the world and this tax was imposed on motor vehicles at that time many things have happened since then there were many taxation measures from time to time and it was necessary for us to examine whether the motor vehicles in this state could bear more taxation there was no ch- in taxation for a long time now we think that it is necessary to increase the tax and we are doing it there is a feeling in quarters that it will affect the bus owners very much i may assure the house that if the operators make out a case that it will affect them very much i will be only ready for a reduction in tax in the same way if they make out a case that the fare they are going to charge is not sufficient to meet the maintenance charges we may have to raise the tax further all these matters can be examined in due course at the same time we want the public transport to provide all facilities to our rural people an honorable member raised the question of national wastage of buses i would like to say that i have consulted the transport advisory council as to how we can prevent this if the vehicles are idle it is a great loss to the nation as a whole so it is necessary to see that there is no wastage of motor vehicles we do not want vehicles to be idle in many districts there are people with permits but without vehicles in the same way there are people who have vehicles but have no permits this kind of thing should not be there with regard to the temporary permits also there seems to be some confusion in the matter people are not able to invest their money in the transport business because they do not know what the future policy of the government will be there are given temporary permits for one year i am taking up that matter also in order to restore the three year permit rule if there is a nationalization we can give them six months notice it will create confidence in their minds and they will try to keep their vehicles in good order and also try to get new vehicles with regard to spare buses the point was raised by an honorable member it was considered by the select committee i would like to point out that at present there is no mention of a spare buses in the motor vehicles act we shall go into the question and see that a spare bus is not taxed in any way i shall examine it there is no doubt that the municipal lorries of the 
conservancy department must be exempted from additional taxation.